When Albert Einstein set the speed limit of the universe at the dawn of a new century, he proved that the space around us and the time that we perceive are two sides of the same thing. It's called space-time, and all the stuff in the universe, such as planets, stars, and us, sit inside it. But that led Einstein to another big discovery. Space-time itself can vibrate and warp. The movement of very heavy objects, like two massive black holes crashing into one another, ripples space-time like a rug, sending so-called gravitational waves in every direction. They cross the universe, carrying information about the events that caused them. They were detected here for the first time seven years ago, as they squeezed and warped the Earth itself using this machine called LIGO. But astrophysicists thought there must be more, not just single waves caught by chance, but a background hum from the millions of invisible collisions throughout the history of our universe. So they looked to the universe for clues. Pulsars are dense, dying stars that shoot beams of light from both poles. Astronomers know of over 2,000 in our own galaxy, and they say there should be a billion others. These are stars that have run out of fuel and shrunk to just a few kilometers in size. But like a figure skater, as they pull their arms inward, they spin at hundreds of times per second. To astronomers on Earth, they blink like a steady clock. Astrophysicists watched 67 of them for 15 years. Only then were they able to detect that space-time itself was warping. The blinks were slowing and speeding up again. The reason? Long, slow gravitational waves, the kinds that can't be detected from any single observatory on Earth, coming from everywhere all at once. It's a study that could only be accomplished globally. This discovery, it's not come uh... Uh, uh, only from one group. It's a several different groups. So it's a multinational project, uh, US, China, Australia, my colleagues here in Australia, uh, in Europe as well. So that is some, that's the power and that's the beauty of the science, that the science doesn't see uh, a borders. And uh, to me, that is uh, one of the most powerful messages. The first observation of gravitational waves was a signal from deep space. Now, astrophysicists are looking out through the lens of those very waves to better understand the structure of our universe. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera.